Got a freaking Hellcat motor in here. Hell Razor, okay. Supercharged Hemi. Look at this boy in the rotor forms. What's up, YouTube fam? It's your boy Jason. We hopping back in another vid. We are in Roanoke today to take a look at the Star City Motor Madness car show they got going on. Hope you guys are doing great. I'm doing well. Can't complain. Let's go take a look. C8 over here. Mm. Okay, got some nice aftermarket wheels. Looking clean, dude. I like that blue with the white. <laughs> C8, clever. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, take a look at this old school Rally Sport Camaro. This thing has a 540 big block shoved in here. Take a look. It's a beautiful work. That is a massive engine. I bet it makes good power, and I bet it sounds amazing when she's powered up. Got the skinnies up front. Big fat Hoosiers out back. Oh. <laughs> the license plate says Henry Who. As I shot it forward. Got an old Mercury Cougar with some big fat Mickey Thompsons out back. I'm gonna look at the inside. Okay, tachometer. Got some harnesses. So you must have plan on going fast with this 347 stroker. Very nice. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we got the heavy Chevy 1972 Chevy Chevelle and like a hunter green. Very clean. Ooh, interior also green. I don't know about that one, boys and girls. You let me know what you think on the green on green. Maybe like a black vinyl type, black leather interior. Fire. Here's a 1924 Model T and K original owner and original motor, 22 horsepower. Wow. And you guys complain about 200 horsepower cars now. Imagine trying to do something with 22. Yeah. Ain't much more all worse riding a horse. Look at that wood floor in there, that's dope. Got the big bench seat. Heck yeah, dude. Look, still got the OG wood spoke wheels. Okay, that's wild. Here's something you don't see every day. A Pantera by Dave Tomaso. You know, I probably said it wrong, but apparently, you know, he was all the rage back in the 70s and 80s. Beautiful little wedge shaped car, of course. You know, I dig it. In great shape. Super dope. Look, rear engine, trans. It's a dope little setup, man. But this thing was all the rage back in the day. I think it's super cool now. That beautiful Pantera is an all original 2000 Acura NSX. 100% stock. All OEM, nothing aftermarket, and it is in beautiful condition. Leather, beautiful. Dash, everything, immaculate. Of course, you know, beautiful five speed. And the always trusty Honda motor out back this time, you know. This thing is gorgeous. gentlemen look at this beautiful 57 Chevy delivery sedan imagine getting your groceries or whatever delivered to you in this back in the day that thing is wicked that color is beautiful super clean old school Bel Air look at the matching cooler in the back heck yeah dude see this old school car fire up there it goes there she is old school Packard the straight eight to the Packard was the last car that had a straight eight too. Just yeah. FYI. No. Yeah, look at the Happy Miata. Super clean. Got the updated LED 
pop up. So look at it. Oh, snap. That's dope. Okay, I got some clean in case. Setting on some hand cooks too. A little lip kit all around. Proper roll bar, you know, just in case shit gets squirrely. Yeah, dude. This is how you do a Miata. Very clean. Well, found Corvette Alley, guys. Corvettes. As far as the eye can see. GTS. I don't know shit about Ferrari. This is what the sticker on the window says. This thing is dope. Okay. Yeah, dang. Look at the whole front end fold up on this old Jaguar. It's a 67 Jag. It's like a brown burgundy color. I don't know what you would call it. Like a maroon burgundy. I don't know. It's kind of brown. Maybe I'm just colorblind today. Six cylinder iron block. 265 horsepower. 283 foot pounds of torque when it was new. I wonder how it holds up over time. A little wedge in the back. Look at that chrome, boy. This thing's shiny. Look at old Buick Chunkin. Let's see what this whole truck sounds like. Ooh, okay, Buick, I hear you. Grandpa gonna fire his truck up today, though, I think. Yes, sir. Oh, the way them old school trucks sound. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, take a look at these old school trucks slammed down on the ground. This bad boy, that big old wheel would break it. Okay, beautiful engine bay. I know it's kind of shady over here, so it's hard to see. And then we come over here to this old Dodge 100, and it's got a freaking Hellcat motor in here. Hell Razor, okay. Supercharged Hemi. Look at this boy on the rotor forms with the Willwood six piston eye kit. Okay, shit. That's wicked. That's a 10 out of 10. Oh, here's a couple more beauties slammed on the ground. Oh, C10. Okay, dude. I'm thing just tucked in there like a baby going to bed. Oh, LS in this one. Nothing wrong with that. Sweet. And then the caddy. Okay. Boy. Okay. That thing is way good. Oh, I need to put this in the back of the van and take it on home with me. Oh, okay. Here's a little piece of history. This thing is pre-1919. They didn't have an exact date. It just said pre-war. So I'm assuming pre-World War One. But he's went through and he's redone all of this. All redone, top to bottom, super clean. There's white wheels under the covers, but some ugly clouds moved in, so he covered them up. But this thing is super cool, guys. Piece of history for sure. Gotta take time to appreciate where you come from, so you guys can appreciate all the fast stuff we got now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you really don't see these every day. Take a look at this beautiful stainless steel body of this DMC-12. Okay. Look at the interior. Got a few little goodies from the Back to the Future in here. Super dope. You know, a little set up there. Got your time travel equipment set up there. Super dope. Come back around here, take a look at this thing. You know, rear engine. Made about 130 horsepower from the factory. And it's made out of stainless steel. So it was not fast, but it does look cool. You know, the gold wing doors. Super dope. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. All right, uh, if y'all are younger, you might not know that, but this is the Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters. Super dope. You know, childhood favorite movie of mine. Done up very nicely. All very accurate from what I can tell. This is so cool. I would pay good money to go for a ride in this, no lie. 30 kids in the back. 
go catch some ghosts. Well guys, that's gonna do it for us here at the Star City Motor Car Show. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. Consider subscribing to the channel. Until next time.